definitely, definitely worth it. I'm really happy that I made that purchase. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie. Today's video is going to be my 2020 favorites. I'm so excited to show you, so let's just get into it. So last year when I was making my purchases, I was trying to be more intentional about them. So I realized that I didn't make a lot of purchases, so I don't have a lot to go over today, but I do have some things that I want to share with you that I thought that you might enjoy. So the first thing I wanted to share with you was the thing that I'm actually looking at that has my notes on it. It is my iPad and I have a video unboxing my iPad if you want to check it out. I will put it up in the card for you up there or up there I think. I still don't know which one it is but I will link it up there if you want to check it out. But I have a case on it right now but this is just the iPad Pro. I still have a Christmas background on it. I'm sorry I haven't changed that yet. This is just the latest iPad Pro, I believe. And then I also got the iPad, not the iPad, I also got the Apple Pencil. And that is also one of my best purchases of 2020 as well. I will say, if you are going to draw on the iPad, then definitely get some extra tips because they will wear down and you're going to need them. But I digress. The iPad is definitely one of my best purchases of last year because I have used it every single day. <laughs> I use it for reading. I use it for taking notes. I use it for literally everything that you can think of. Do I think I needed the Pro? Probably not. I don't know if I talked about this in my unboxing video or not, but whenever I was looking at the price differences between upgrading the storage of the iPad Air and going with the Pro. The iPad Air had only like a hundred dollar difference between getting that with the upgraded storage in the iPad Pro. So that's why I just went with the iPad Pro. It had the newer Apple Pencil because the newer iPads weren't out at the time with the newer pencils. So that's also why I went with the Pro because it also has the ability to charge the pencil on the side of the iPad. <laughs> And that is a huge plus for me because I wouldn't have remembered to charge my pencil at the charging port at all. And I always use my pencil when I use my iPad, so it's a huge plus for me. This is a huge best purchase for me of this year. Also, along the line of technology, whenever I purchased my iPad, I also got a pair of AirPod Pros. I already had a pair of AirPods, just the normal airpods before this um they were the ones that charged in the case but not the pros and i love my airpods the normal ones hurt my ears so bad it felt like my ears were getting bruised and i still have those i still need to sell them that's just a personal problem i need to figure out but these do not hurt my ears they are like the like the cushion i don't know what these earbuds are called but they don't hurt my ears they're noise canceling which is a huge plus for me because i just love it highly recommend the airpod pros so the next thing i wanted to mention is something that really helped me get through the beginning of quarantine <laughs> so everyone and their mother i know was playing this and you know what i'm about to say animal crossing so i already had a switch during like the beginning of quarantine, Will and I bought one like two Black Fridays ago. We just wanted to get a Switch so that we could play it. We wanted to play Mario Party and we wanted to play like other games with each other on the Switch. So we just got one and the beginning of quarantine, Animal Crossing came out and I was playing my Switch. Literally everyone was playing. So Animal Crossing was definitely one of my 2020 favorites because it just, it was such a good release. It was such a good game. It was so much fun. I mean, I still play it. I just, I don't play it as much as I did at the like beginning of quarantine because I just don't have time. Like, I mean, I know we're so in quarantine. I know we're still like in a pandemic, but I just, I'm not dedicating as much time as I did at the beginning, but I still love it. Animal Crossing was definitely a favorite and it's always gonna hold a special place in my heart. 
So my next favorite is the Peloton app, and this is something that you can pay for monthly. I've been using this since, since the summer, and I've been loving it. I've been taking a lot of cycling classes. I haven't taken any of their like other classes. I know they have like strength classes and I know they have like Pilates classes and stuff like that, but I've only taken cycling classes. So if you have any questions about like some of the cycling classes or if you have any questions about what types of cycling classes or instructors, then you can definitely chat me on Instagram or something like that. And I'll let you know like what instructors I like. Yeah, I've been loving the Peloton app. It's very, intuitive and I like it a lot. Some instructors are better than others. So yeah, if you have any questions, just send them over and I'll definitely chat with you about it. Okay, next we're gonna kind of move into the beauty section. I decided to splurge on this one item. The item that I did have before this one was just not great. It was, but it wasn't. And I didn't realize it until I replaced it with the new one and I'm glad that I did. So let me just show you what it is before it gets out of hand. <laughs> I got a new makeup mirror. Hi, there's you. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little dirty. But this makeup mirror is amazing. And I didn't realize how bad my makeup mirror was until I got this one. And First of all, my last makeup mirror was run on batteries and every time I would replace the batteries, I would realize how bad the lighting was on the makeup mirror. And the point of a makeup mirror is to like illuminate your face to put on your makeup. I don't know how bad my makeup ever was because of how badly the makeup light was on the mirror. So like, I don't know if like I ever had lines or what. So. I could have been going to work with like really bad makeup and no one ever told me because my mirror was just so bad. And like the batteries were drain so quickly. So I don't know like what was wrong with the mirror and it wasn't even that old. Like I had just bought it within like the year. So it was just a poorly made mirror. It was like $20. So I really didn't like waste anything. So I decided to invest. This is an investment. It's not cheap by any means but it comes with a stand so it's very flat i will say very flat and light it comes with a stand and then it also comes with an attachment piece for like a close-up mirror and then an attachment piece for your phone so that you can like put your phone on here and then like facetime or something like that so when i turn it on you're gonna see like how bright it can get and it's gonna get super bright because I already have a light and then it's gonna be like, you know, so. Do you see that? And then it's adjustable. So now it's just too bright in here. Yeah. And then it's Bluetooth. So you can connect this to your phone. So that's also why it has like a stand for your phone. You can take pictures of yourself through like the Bluetooth thing. Oh, and it's so portable. I've traveled with this before. I've put it in my like luggage and I've taken it with me. I love this mirror. It's so great. I took it to like a wedding and the girls were like, can I use that? And I was like, yeah, you can use it. <laughs> but yeah, I really recommend this. I will link it down below. It's great. I really, I couldn't say better things about it. <laughs> While we're on the makeup train. So this is the Tula rose glow and get it let's beauty guru this there you can see it on my hand it's kind of like shimmery if you saw it on my hand it's kind of like shimmery so this is like a cooling balm that you put under your eyes in the morning or i guess you can do it like at night i like to do it in the morning it says it's a cooling and brightening eye balm so i, do, I like to do this in the morning and it makes your eyes feel so nice. I don't know how it makes it like cold, but it feels so good. <laughs> and honestly, like I tried other products from Tula at the end of 2020 and they didn't work for me, but I really like this. It makes you look awake. It makes you look ready for the day. So I really like it. 
and I know they also have one that doesn't have like the sparkles in it if that's not your vibe I haven't tried that one I've only tried this one and you can use this under your makeup to give you more of a glow so definitely I'm like waving it around I'm sorry let me put it down but yeah definitely recommend that and next I tried this out because my friend Jackie was using this this year and I was like what is that that makes your face look really nice she's like oh it's this and I was like oh let me try that and then I tried it and I really liked it so that's my story <laughs> so this is the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I was an it cosmetics like CC cream girl like through and through but then I was like maybe I want something like more full coverage I don't know so then I tried this and first of all the packaging let me give them a 10 out of 10 because I think it's so cute so this is the packaging and how cute and even like the cap I just think is adorable I don't know why like and it's just like it's a pump I don't know <laughs> It's the little things for me that like I get really excited about but this is just the pro filter soft matte long wear foundation and I am in the shade 260 in case you're wondering and I just think this gives you the most flawless beautiful coverage it doesn't look cakey you can build it up love it looks great so this product also in the makeup line so you put all those products on your face and now you need to take them off so use the makeup eraser sorry mine is gross because i actually use mine this is not an ad but i love this product so much i actually want to buy another one so that i don't have to wash this as often but this actually takes off all of your makeup i'm not even kidding like with just water if you don't know what this is this is literally just like a cloth and you get it wet and then you take off all your makeup with it and it works and I love traveling with this because you literally like I just pack this in my bag and I'm like okay cool I have something to take off my makeup I don't use makeup wipes anymore I love using this to take off my makeup when I'm traveling I love to just like bring this in my bag it's so convenient and then you just throw this in the wash but whenever this is in the wash I still like to use the cotton rounds I really recommend this <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get through 2020 without my tried and true favorite shoes of the year. And these are my Adidas Ultra Boosts. And these babies have walked, ran, cycled so many miles, I cannot even begin to tell you. My dad got me these for Christmas, so I don't know if this is cheating because I did not personally buy them. He got me these last Christmas, so he actually gave them to me in 2020 for Christmas because we celebrated Christmas late. I don't know if this is cheating, but I use these every single day in 2020 and I'm actually going to be buying a new pair in 2021. So I really don't know if this is cheating because I'm putting this in my 2020 favorites and I got them as a gift. But these are my favorite shoes to work out in, to walk in, to cycle in. I love these so much. They're so comfortable. They literally feel like a cloud they're just amazing my dad got me these all black ones I really want to get an all white pair next I love them so much I couldn't tell you like enough good things about them I will wear them with like every single athleisure or just like athletic outfit that I have because I just think that they go with everything and they're really comfortable and I just love them because they're so comfortable so if you haven't gotten your hands on a pair of the Ultra Boosts, I definitely recommend. They are pricey, so maybe wait for them to go on sale. I know they were on sale for Black Friday. I maybe should have invested in another pair then, but I didn't. But they are really worth it. They're so comfortable. So maybe keep your eye out. Definitely, definitely worth it. I bought myself a pair of blue light glasses. I think they were having a deal on the Key website. I had to buy myself a new pair of replacement sunglasses because my dog chewed mine and so I bought myself a pair of blue light glasses and I'm not gonna wear them for too long because you'll see a glare but I love them I love the color I think it's unique because it's like a pink color and I'll link all of this down below for you guys by the way so that you can find it if you want or buy it if you want because these are my favorite things yeah I just really like these I do find a difference 
in my eyes like not being strained if I wear these whenever I work all day versus when I don't wear them. I do find my eyes getting a lot more tired. I don't wear glasses. These don't have a prescription in them, but I do find that they do help whenever I wear them. So take that with what you will. I do find that they do help if that answers any of your questions, but I have been wearing them for a couple of months since I bought them, I think, in like May or June, and I do find that they do help. Okay, this next one is something that I bought before quarantine, before everything happened, and I'm not mad about it. Like, I'm not mad that this happened. I bought a Nespresso. It was on super sale. I got it for a really good deal. I honestly don't remember the exact price that I paid for it, but it was a really good deal. I got the Nespresso Virtuo line with the milk frother, and I'm really excited that I did because then we did go into quarantine. I couldn't go get my Starbucks, couldn't go to Dunkin', couldn't get like coffee from outside. So I'm really excited that I did get it. And yeah, that has been one of my like top favorites that I've gotten because I do really like espresso. I like making drinks in it and I really like the milk frother. I use it for not just coffee. I use it for when I make matcha and everything like that. So it is used more often than just whenever I make coffee. So I do think it was a really good purchase and I did get it for a really good deal. I'm really happy that I made that purchase. Okay, the last thing that I have for you guys today is really random but I thought I would share it with you because I wear it so much so I'm coming at you with the PJ set and I'm only sharing it because I got it from Amazon so I know it's like available to you guys I was going to share leggings that I've gotten over the year that I've really loved but I don't know if they're available like the leggings I'm wearing right now they're from Athleta but I got them in the store and I don't know if they're available. So I don't want to share something that I love that I don't know if it's going to be available to you. So I thought I would just stick with something that I can link that you guys might be able to find. So this is a PJ set and these are the shorts. And then it has a matching top. And the top is so much more oversized. So I have to kind of like move back. It is so cute and comfortable and soft and I wear this all the time and if you're looking for like a cute matching tie-dye PJ set then this is definitely for you. I will say like the shorts they look small but they do stretch so like if you're worried about that like they will stretch. That was my last favorite like I said. I didn't do a lot of shopping this year, also mostly because I didn't go into stores a lot because of, you know, the pandemic. So like I said, I was also trying to make more intentional purchases. So like I, I really hope you guys enjoyed my favorite purchases of 2020. Make sure you comment down below what your favorite purchase of last year was. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.